Hey everybody, it's Travis with the NPCs here, and it's time for another quick save. For November 2nd, 2021, here is what you need to know. For our first story tonight, we're going to be talking about the announcement from Activision Blizzard that Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4 have been delayed indefinitely. During today's third quarter earnings report from Activision Blizzard, they announced that both games require a little additional time to be able to polish them up and have them ready for release. With the announcement from Activision Blizzard, they did not give any definitive dates on exactly when these games would be coming out. However, their filings do show that they were expecting both games to be coming out this next year and provide substantial revenue to the company. In their earnings call this afternoon, they presented a slide called Update to Our Pipeline, which revealed those details about Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4 being pushed out. Quote, These are two of the most eagerly anticipated titles in the industry, and our teams have made great strides towards completion in recent quarters. But we believe giving the team some extra time to complete production and continue growing their creative resources to support the titles after launch will ensure that these releases delight and engage their communities for many years into the future. However, one of the interesting notes here is that with Overwatch 2 delayed indefinitely, we're exactly not sure what's going to be happening with the upcoming Overwatch League season, which recently announced prior to the end of Overwatch League 2021 that they were going to be using an early build of Overwatch 2 for the 2022 season. Whether or not this delay of the game actually impacts Overwatch League's ability to be able to go ahead and put on their performance this next year, or if they're going to have to rely on Overwatch 1 is beyond us at this point in time. Next up in the news is the announcement from Tencent and Epic Games that the Chinese version of Fortnite will be shutting down this month. The game has been out in China in beta form for several years now due to the fact that the Chinese regulators require certain things to be done in Battle Royale games, especially as they tie into monetization. Because of limitations with monetization, as well as some concerns about some in-game imagery that also had to be removed, it's very likely likely that this is the case that Fortnite did not take on as well as it did here in the United States and elsewhere. As of right now, if you are in China, you are unable to download the game and everything will officially shut down in the middle of this month. More likely than not, one of the major reasons for Fortnite shutting down in China, of course, is not only the growing competition from other Battle Royale games over in the Chinese market, but it also comes down to licensing from Chinese regulators, as well as the government steps out there to be able to regulate video games even further, especially putting caps on how long children can play video games during a given time period in the week. And in our last story for tonight, we have word that GoldenEye 007 has been removed from a banned list in Germany, meaning that we could be seeing a re-release of the classic N64 title here very soon. The game has been on Germany's Media Harmful to Young Persons list since its original release 24 years ago. According to the video game community, especially those based over in Germany, it looks like that the game would have been coming off the list next year. However, someone or some entity has intervened and gotten the game off the list early. Per Video Games Chronicle, they've been able to determine that Nintendo's eShop for the European Union is based out of Germany. And of course, with the recent release of the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack that includes Nintendo 64 games, it wouldn't necessarily be a stretch to say that this is Nintendo getting the game removed from the list so they can include it in the N64 emulation they now offer with Switch Online. Based on the current information available, this is more pertaining to the original GoldenEye 007 game that came out 24 years ago, and not necessarily going to be a remaster. There was an attempt back in 2007 to remaster GoldenEye and re-release it on Xbox Live Arcade for the Xbox 360. However, plans fell through after negotiations between Nintendo, Microsoft, and Rare fell through. Of course, as much as we'd all like to see a remastered GoldenEye 007, it doesn't look like that's going to be happening here anytime soon. However, if you want to be able to play GoldenEye 007 on your Switch, you may not have to wait for very long. Nintendo has already outlined the next wave of games that are going to be coming to the expansion pack meaning that GoldenEye 007 could be in the wave after. However, we don't know about this at this point in time, but stay tuned here with the NPCs and all of our different news offerings, and we'll sure let you know when that information becomes available. And that is it for today's NPCs Quick Save. Just like quick saving in a video game, you need to make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell here so you know when any of our videos or live content go up. Of course, be sure to follow along with us over on social media on Facebook and Twitter at the NPCs Podcast. And one of our big things, of course, is our podcast itself. You can go listen to that at anchor.fm slash the dash NPCs dash podcast or on any other podcast platform that you like. Again, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. We will catch you all in the next episode.